Libri, you're just so lucky this month, the last month of 2023, to have your ruling planet transiting through <clears throat> your sun sign. It's at the tail end of it, but um, it's still giving you some good results, making you popular, giving you a more of a, a social spin, and uh, also providing you a lot more self-confidence and uh, charm is the word which we use for Venus, that sweetness. It does, however, uh, run into a bit of a problem there with Pluto on the third, moving into the right angle. That can be very, very tense. It can uh, make you feel a lot of the darker emotions if you're dwelling on some idea, especially if it's a relationship, the first week of this month could be yeah, even traumatic, a little bit difficult. Um, Pluto's transformative. It, it shifts the relationships into a completely different gear. I hope you're ready for it. Before it shifts them into that completely different gear, it... Uh, Rip the shit out of the gearbox. It's been uh, known to demolish uh, a few things, Pluto. It does that to rebuild, to reconstitute. Um, and the, the third sign or symbol or totem of Scorpio ruled by Pluto is the phoenix, the phoenix rising from the ashes. So... Because Venus is transiting your sun sign, you've got all of the really nice stuff, but underneath the surface there's a whole lot of other stuff going on. There's this self-transformation, this need to really break out of the cocoon which you've been in and spread your wings and fly. These are all apt symbols for the transformation that's taking place in your life during this very, very interesting transition to 2024. <clears throat> I note that there is a, a simultaneous a dual aspect of retrograde Mercury and a new moon on the 13th taking place in the sign of uh, Sagittarius, the retrograde Mercury in Capricorn. So that, that's interesting because you've got this outgoing, uh, opportunistic Jupiterian sign, the sign of uh, Sagittarius, giving a new lease of life. And for you, this is the third house. It has to do with your thinking, your communication, your movements, especially those of a local um, style not necessarily long distance travel, but the new moon here, Libra, is great because it shows that you're opening up to new perspectives of thinking, uh, looking at new ways of communicating. And after Mars and Sun have been here doing a little bit of damage recently, that's easing up now as the Sun moves away from, from uh, combative Mars. <clears throat> so you might have found yourself biting jumping, lunging at people, a bit of impatience there in the way that you're thinking and uh, feeling are connecting. That's easing up now, I'm pleased to say. It also uh, gives you the opportunity to secure deals. The harsher planets, the fiery planets like Mars and Sun actually do quite well in this third house. So it is the time, you probably think it's the end of the year, it is the time to negotiate and negotiate hard for a deal if that's what you want. The full moon is going to take place in Cancer. Cancer is your career sector. So there are a couple of points there that are, that are really leading us to conclude there are opportunities at this late stage of 2023 for you. Mars is fully aspecting through that quincunx aspect, um, somewhat the the full moon that's taking place there. And that just really, the moon does energise but cool at the same time, that area of your life in question under these transits. 
So that's a, a beautiful uh, transit for this uh, time of the year. That's on the 27th of December, after Christmas, the day after Christmas. So you should be feeling pretty good, pretty emotional, and uh, keep your ears open and your eyes as open so you can uh, jump at any opportunities that happen to come your way. There is a Sun square Neptune, Venus trine Neptune, Mercury square Neptune, Mars square Neptune, 17th, 26th, 27th, and the very last day of the month, the 29th, <clears throat> Neptune for you is regulating your sixth house. Neptune is there with Saturn. So there's a little bit of a tough cycle that's uh, started for you in terms of your work. You'll be you know, working a little bit harder and maybe not getting as many returns. And, and that those squares, those right angles, three out of the four of them, um, can really grind you down. You know, Saturn is also there, which means things are not happening as quickly as you'd like. Focus on that full moon, please, Libra, because I think the hard work, yeah, is there, but the full moon shows the opportunities and, and the satisfaction are there as well through the hard work that you, you put in, even at this late stage of 2023. Don't forget to duck on over there to astrology.com.au. I've got to give it a bit of a spin. The, um, the text-based um, forecast for December 2023 are there. We've got the 2024 forecast going up. You'll want to find out what's going on there ahead of my January forecast for 2024 in the year. So uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your support throughout 2023. Merry Christmas. I hope uh, Santa brings you that special gift. And I look forward to your company in the new year. Bye-bye.